You might have heard the saying, defense is the best offense, or that defense wins championships. I'm sure you've heard both of those sayings before. The truth is, those are both absolutely true. Defensive possessions or defensive turnovers allow your offense to score more points. And to hold those teams to a low score and to allow your offense to score a bunch leads to championships. And that is exactly what Kansas Jayhawk football are showing. Welcome to 688 The Bull, Kansas Jayhawk football radio. We are with head coach Slacker Gaming. Coach, Iowa State comes in at the bottom of the division at 2-5 and five in the division and 3-7 and seven overall. What do you tell your team to keep them focused in a matchup like this? I tell them the same thing I've been telling them all year. You want to win a cha- national championship, you need to win every game. And if we want to win and we need to stay focused on every game and every team, Iowa State is in the Big 12 and have beaten two great teams so far. So this team is not a joke. And there, there are no joke teams in the Big 12. There's a reason you're in the Big 12. So every single Big 12 game we have to take seriously. Iowa State is a run first type of team. Does that play into your defense ability? Well, I, I think we have different game plans for every team we play. And we know they like to run the ball early in the game, but they also know that we know that. So they might go past early. We don't know. And we just have to be ready to play and react to whatever is thrown at us. Thank you so much, Coach, and good luck. Hi, everybody. Welcome to 688 The Bull Radio, Kansas Jayhawk football. And we got the number one Kansas Jayhawks taking on Iowa State here today at home in Lawrence, Kansas, looking to improve to 11 and 0 on this season and looking to get that number one spot in the Big 12 championship game. Kansas right now on top, 7 and 0 in conference, 10 and 0 overall. Iowa State 2 and 5 in the conference at number six in the North standings and three and seven overall. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Third and 21 after two sacks from Iowa State. Iowa State back in the shotgun. Hodge back looking. He's going to throw to the left side. He's going to find George, but it's not going to be enough. Only 19 yards on the reception, and that's going to cause a fourth down. Iowa State, a good play, just not able to get the first down. 39 for Kansas. Robinson going to take the snap. Throws it quickly to the right. Finds Chase for a first down out of about the 12-yard line. 18 yards on that reception for Chase. First and 10, Robinson back, looking, throwing the exact same route, finding Chase for a 12-yard touchdown reception. Kansas on the board early, 7-0 over Iowa State. Third and two, Hodge back, going to hand this one off to Hill. Hill's going to get a first down, finds a gap. He's going 50-40, 30, finally pushed out of bounds at about the 29-yard line, 38 yards on that run. 39, Hodge back, looking, looking, has time, but finally brought down, sacked for eight yards by the defensive tackle, Joe Barr. That's going to be his first sack of the game. And Kansas going to be another 4th and 17 opportunity here for Iowa State. Trying to kick the field goal here. The kick is up, and it is good. Barely over the crossbar. Iowa State gets three on the board. That, That was within feet of going over, and it does. Iowa State on the board. Second and 10, Robinson back and shotgun, takes the snap, scrambles right, looking, looking, throws, and it's going to be caught by Mitchell, oh, he drops it, Mitchell wide open, catches it, but drops it on the hit, and Kansas looking to make something happening, and there's going to be fourth and 14, and the punt is on its way, and it's going to be picked up by Kansas, but it looks like a illegal touch there, and Kick catch interference on Kansas, and that's going to be costly. That's 15 yards. That's going to give Iowa State the ball at their 39-yard line. Third and five, Iowa State. Hodge going to fake the handoff, keeping it, but nothing going for them. Three-yard loss there by Kansas. Coming up, making the big stop on the option, and Iowa State going to have to kick another field goal. This time, a little deeper of a field goal. The kick is up, and it is no good. Short and offline to the left. First and 10, Robinson, the fake handoff, scrambling right. Looking, looking, still looking. He's going to keep this one. He's going to run out of bounds after 12-yard rush and a first down for Reggie Robinson. 
Third and ten for Reggie. Back in the shotgun. He's going to throw right. He's going to find Chase wide open, and that's 19 yards for the touchdown. Kansas Jayhawks up 14 to 3. Hodge on first and 10 fakes the handoff. Looking, looking, plenty of time. No blitz coming. He's going to throw it deep. It's going to be incomplete. Had a guy open, just overthrew him. And Kansas defense making the stop there. Third and 12 for Hodge. He's going to throw over the middle. He's going to find Ryan for a first down. And Iowa State moving. Third and six on Kansas' side. Hodge with the ball. Looking, looking. Looking, has all day, throws it. It's going to be caught by Gore, and that's going to be a first and goal situation. 22 yards on the catch by Ray Gore, and a first down for Iowa State. First and goal for Iowa State, going to hand it off here to Bennett. Bennett right up the middle and in. Iowa State with the touchdown, seven yards for Bennett on the handoff, and Iowa State going to make the score 10 to 14. Iowa State with the kickoff after the rushing touchdown. Mills going to catch this one, electing to bring it out. Let's see what he does here. He's going to find a gap right up the middle, and he's not going to be touched. 50, 40, one guy to beat, 30, beats him, 20, 10, 5, touchdown. Albert Mills, 104-yard touchdown, comes back. 105-yard last week, 104-yard this week. He is absolutely unstoppable in that kick return game. Third and 13, Hodge back, looking, looking. He's going to be hit. He's going to throw it, and he gets rid of it. But that's going to be a turnover, and that is Hodge down on the play. Kansas with the ball. Kozart faking the handoff there. He's going to keep. He's going to pitch it to the last second, but he's hit, and he fumbles. And Grant of Iowa State's going to pick this one up. Another turnover for Kansas on the option. Landing back in after Hodges' injury, and he's going to get sacked the first play, and it's third and 19. Iowa State getting pushed back on these blitzes, and another sack for Kansas' defense. First and 10, Robinson going to hand this one off to Mitchell. Mitchell going to make a couple guys miss. A beautiful block on that right side. He's 50, 40, dragging a guy 35, and he's down to about the 33 yards. Mitchell carrying guys with him. Making plays in Kansas. And the offense not looking great so far, but the beautiful block by number 48 springs him for a huge gain and a first down for Kansas. First and 10 for Robinson. Takes a snap, fakes the handoff, throws over the middle. He's finding Chase and chased all the way down to about the four yard line. 30 yard reception for Brad Chase, having himself a day. Six receptions, 104 yards, and two touchdowns already. And he has just broke the record for the school receptions as a career 227. Congratulations, Brad Chase, on a wonderful career. First and goal for Kansas. Robinson back and throw to his tight end. Lawrence wide open. Touchdown, Kansas. Three-yard touchdown reception for him. That's going to be number three on the day for Reggie Robinson. Barely over 100 yards, but already three touch, touchdowns on the passing variety. Third and eight, Iowa State look for a first down here before halftime, trying to get some points out of it. Landing back, going to make a guy miss on the sack. He throws. It's going to be intercepted by Oliver. The freshman coming up with a big interception there in Kansas in business before halftime. Andre Oliver cutting that pass off with the interception from Lanning, and Lanning not doing very well so far. Robinson backs, going to scramble to the right. A little bit of time he throws it. It's going to be intercepted by Moses of Iowa State. And Moses gonna, might take this one. Finally brought down with an ankle tackle. And that's going to be the second turnover for Kansas. So the turnover bug hitting right before halftime for both teams. And Iowa State has a ball. 105 left to go in the second quarter. And already down in within the 30-yard line of Kansas. First and 10, Lanning going to hand this one off to Hill. Hill makes a guy miss and right up the middle and Hill's in for a rushing touchdown. Iowa State, Nick Hill just running over people. Nobody stop him, stopping him there. And Iowa State going to keep the score at 17-28 with a minute left to go in the second quarter. The kickoff from Iowa State. This time Mills going to have to return this one, not in the end zone. He gets it. 
And he's got the 30, the 40. He has some room. 50, 42 guys to beat. He beats one. Pushed out by the other one. 25 yards on that one. Robinson going to hand this one off to Mitchell for the three-yard touchdown run before half. And Kansas making that lead. 35-17, 36 seconds left to go after the huge Albert Mills setup on return. Landing in a throw right to Cooper. Cooper pushed out of bounds after 15 yards. Iowa State moving. 15 seconds left. Landing back shotgun. Takes a snap. Looking, looking. Throws over the middle. Throws towards the end zone. It's going to be intercepted by Dexter Strickland. Able to come up with this one. And the turnover with nine seconds left. Iowa State looking like they are going to score something. And it ends up being an interception and turnover for Kansas. Nine seconds left. You've seen them score in situations like this before. Robinson back, looking, looking. He's going to throw it deep to his wide running back. And Mitchell catches it, and he's going to try to score again. Finally brought down at the 11-yard line. Not able to get in for the touchdown. You've seen that play done before. They run it again and almost gets away with it again. But Kansas going in with a 35-17 lead over Iowa State at half. The kickoff by Iowa State. Mills already two big returns in this game. He's going to return this one as well. He's going to get the left side. Breaking a tackle. He's got the 30, 40, a spin move. Finally brought down after 45 yards. Albert Mills completely changing this game with his kick returns. Second and goal for Robinson. He's looking. He's passing to Lawrence. Wide open again. The tight end, Adrian Lawrence. That's going to be his second touchdown of the game. Number four for Reggie Robinson and Kansas up 42-17 early in the third quarter. First and 10 for Iowa State. Landing back in at quarterback. Throw to the right. He's going to find Cooper open. Cooper the first down on the 17-yard reception by him. Iowa State moving down the field. Third and six for Landing. He's back. He throws to the right. It's going to be intercepted. Looks like it was knocked down. Could be possibly intercepted. We'll have to look at the replay to see if he was able to come up with it. Clint Tucker dies for the ball. It looks like he got it. And it does look like they count it as an interception. Could almost be a trap ball there. But they count it as an interception. Kansas starting over at its five-yard line. Second and ten for Robinson. Back in the shotgun. Scrambling to the right. Looking, looking. He's going to keep this one and rushes for about 12 or 13 yards and a first down for Kansas. Robinson back in the shotgun. First and 10. Throws over the middle. He finds Chase open again. Brad Chase, 26 yards on that reception. Having himself a great day. Seven receptions, 130 yards, and two touchdowns already. Robinson knows his guy's going to be there, throws it up. Brad Chase is there for the first down. Fourth and seven, Kozar in because of an injury. Looking, he's going to throw it to the right side. It's going to be knocked down in a turnover on downs for Kansas on the fourth and seven attempt. Landing in at quarterback again, throws to the right. He finds his buddy Wilkerson out of bounds at 13 yards and a first down for Iowa State. Second and ten, Kansas defense looking for a stop. Landing going to throw. It's going to be intercepted. Darnell Rogers going to pick this one off. He might have a chance of running this one back. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Kansas Jayhawks. Defense, the pick six by Darnell Rogers. The safety coming up and grabbing that one, just knowing the route before the tight end could get there. And Kansas turns this one into a pick six and points. First and 10 for Laning back. Throws it to the right side. It's going to be intercepted again by Oliver. Andre Oliver, that's his number two on the day for him. Kansas with five interceptions of Lanning. And Kansas defense taking this game over. Robinson back, first and 10. Scrambling to the right. Looking, looking. Throws it. It's going to be caught by Chase again. Imagine that. 20 yards on the reception by Chase. Whenever you need him, he's there. Brad Chase open again. Just a better route there for Chase. Beating the defender to the ball and a first down for Kansas. First and goal. Robinson back in the game after an injury. Looking, look, he's going to throw again. And this time it's going to be intercepted by Iowa State. Looking for Chase again. Maybe way too many times. Iowa State able to come up with the interception in the end zone. 39 landing back. Five interceptions already. Throws this one. It's going to be caught this time by Ryan. And a first down, 18 yards for Iowa State. 
First and 10, landing back again, looking, throwing to the right. It's going to be caught by Cooper, and they got another first down, 14 yards for Jared Cooper. Iowa State pushing down the field, hopefully they can get a score from this. Third and two, landing back, looking, throwing to the right. He finds a guy open, Cooper, and that's going to be a 13-yard touchdown reception by Cooper, and Iowa State going to make the score 24-49. About 11 seconds left to go in the third quarter. We are ready for the fourth quarter. Robinson back in shotgun looking. He's going to throw to the left side. He's going to find Gray. Gray is open, and he is 20. 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Jason Gray just beating his guy on the corner, and Reggie Robinson finds him for his fifth touchdown of the game. Landing back, second and 18 after a sack, and it's going to be another sack, this time by Hugh Bix. Coming up, making the sack. That's the second of the day. Hugh having himself a day on defense. The whole defense in general for Kansas having a great day. Sacks, interceptions, knockdowns, everything. Kansas defense showing up big here. Ozar in, most likely an option. He can't just went off to Mitchell up the middle, and Mitchell's got some room. The 20. The 15 finally brought down after 29 yards by Deke Mitchell, and he's up to 139 yards already on the day. First and 10 for Robinson. He's going to keep this one on the keeper. He's going to run up the middle, and he has himself a rushing touchdown. Reggie Robinson, 15 yards on the keeper. Not known for his option abilities, but a great job there by Robinson. Second and six, landing back. Gets hit by Bix. He's going to throw this one up. It's going to be intercepted by Pendleton. Pendleton with the comeback. He's about nine yards on that return before being taken down. And that is number six for Joey, Joel Lanning coming up with a pick as Pendleton. Kansas turnovers everywhere. You'll love to see it as a Kansas defense. Robinson back in, throws it on a screen to Mills. Mills has the left side and makes a guy miss. He's got a first down and more. About 16 yards on that reception by Mills. Kansas offense firing on all cylinders. Kansas defense having turnover galore. And Kansas playing very, very well in this one. 437 left. Robinson back, throws it to the right. He's got his friend Brad Chase. A career day for him. He's going to add to it here. 16 yards on the touchdown pass. Reggie Robinson, number six on the day for him. Brad Chase. Number three for him. First and goal for Iowa State. Landing going to decide to keep this one. And it's going to be stripped from behind and picked up by Darnell Rogers. That's number seven turnover for Iowa State. This one by Hugh Bix coming from behind the quarterback and knocking it out. So that's six interceptions and one fumble for Landing today. KU defense feasting today on that Iowa State offense. And that's going to be it. Kansas going to win this one behind the seven turnovers today. Reggie Robinson, your player of the game, 397 yards, seven total touchdowns for him, one rushing, six. Welcome back to 688, the Bull Radio, Kansas Jayhawk football press conference with head coach Slacker Gaming. Coach, Reggie Robinson had six passing touchdowns and one rushing touchdown today. He had himself a career day with almost 400 yards passing. What was he doing out there today so well? Um, I think the biggest thing is his confidence. And that's the way that Reggie has been since he's been here. If he, The more confidence he has, the better he plays. When he starts overthinking things or starts to struggle a little, that's when he really struggles. And he, he's a great quarterback and, has a, and he's had a great career here so far. But today he was straight balling out. Your defense cost seven turnovers, six of them interceptions, one of them fumble, the most of any team you have ever coached. What was going on today with this defense? Again, like I've said it before, this defense wants to be the best, and we're playing just different on defense. We're we're playing free, and this defense wants to prove how good they are and what they can do, and they did that again today. They This might be the best – this might be the most fun I have ever had watching or coaching our defense in, in my career. And we played exceptionally well today, and we were able to go out and make some turnovers and kind of turn the game around. Thank you so much, Coach. Kansas wins this one 70-24. Kansas will improve to 11-0 on the season and will play their final Big 12 game in the regular season this year against the 6-5 Oklahoma State team next weekend.
This is 688 The Bull, Kansas Jayhawk Football Radio, and I will see you guys next weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that red subscribe button. And we are closing in. We have one game left. Then we are in the Big 12 Championship game if we can win next week. Then we can look for the national title, something I think this team could do this year. Until next time, soccer out.